Be like water making its way through cracks. Do not be assertive, but adjust to the object, and you shall find a way around or through it. If nothing within you stays rigid, outward things will disclose themselves. Empty your mind, be formless. Shapeless, like water. If you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle and it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now, water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. You must be shapeless, formless, like water. When you pour water in a cup, it becomes the cup. When you pour water in a bottle, it becomes the bottle. When you pour water in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Water can drip and it can crash. Become like water, my friend. If you always put limits on everything you do, physical or anything else, it will spread into your work and into your life. There are no limits. There are only plateaus, and you must not stay there, you must go beyond them. Love is like a friendship caught on fire. In the beginning a flame, very pretty, often hot and fierce, but still only light and flickering. As love grows older, our hearts mature and our love becomes as coals, deep burning and unquenchable. Forget about winning and losing, forget about pride and pain. Let your opponent graze your skin and you smash into his flesh, let him smash into your flesh and you fracture his bones. Let him fracture your bones and you take his life. Do not be concerned with escaping safely, lay your life before him. Many people dedicate their lives to actualizing a concept of what they should be like rather than actualizing themselves. This difference between self-actualization and self-image actualization is very important. Most people live only for their image. The second-hand artist blindly following his sensei or sifu accepts his pattern. As a result, his action is and, more importantly, his thinking become mechanical. His responses become automatic, according to set patterns, making him narrow and limited. Forget about winning and losing, forget about pride and pain. Let your opponent graze your skin and you smash into his flesh, let him smash into your flesh and you fracture his bones. Let him fracture your bones and you take his life. Do not be concerned with escaping safely, lay your life before him. Life is better lived than conceptualized. This writing can be less demanding should I allow myself to indulge in the usual manipulating game of role creation. Fortunately for me, my self-knowledge has transcended that and I've come to understand that life is best to be lived, not to be conceptualized. If you have to think, you still do not understand. If you always put limits on what you can do, physical or anything else, it'll spread over into the rest of your life. It'll spread into your work, into your morality, into your entire being. There are no limits. There are plateaus, but you must not stay there, you must go beyond them. If it kills you, it kills you. A man must constantly exceed his level. Art is the way to the absolute and to the essence of human life. The aim of art is not the one-sided promotion of spirit, soul and senses, but the opening of all human capacities, thought, feeling, will, to the life rhythm of the world of nature. So will the voiceless voice be heard and the self be brought into harmony with it. The athlete who is building muscles through weight training should be very sure to work adequately on speed and flexibility at the same time. In combat, without the prior attributes, a strong man will be like the bull with its colossal strength futilely pursuing the matador or like a low-geared truck chasing a rabbit. I wish neither to possess nor to be possessed. I no longer covet paradise. More important, I no longer fear hell. The medicine for my suffering I had within me from the very beginning but I did not take it. 
My ailment came from within myself, but I did not observe it until this moment. Now I see that I will never find the light unless, like the candle, I am my own fuel, consuming myself. The world is full of people who are determined to be somebody or to give trouble. They want to get ahead, to stand out. Such ambition has no use for a gung-fu man who rejects all forms of self-assertiveness and competition.